Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss a potentiometer problem. Uh, it's an easy problem only except for a few things, only one small thing you have to uh, give importance and pay attention. Uh, then it's an easy problem we can easily solve. I'll read this problem. A potentiometer wire of length 1 meter has a resistance of 10 ohm and it is connected to a 6 volt battery which is a source battery in series with a 5 ohm resistor. Determine the EMF of the primary cell which gives a balance point at 40 centimeter. So first of all when question is given like that it is better if we draw a diagram then we can easily solve. So we will draw diagram and we will discuss. So here I have drawn the diagram and this is the length of the potentiometer AB and the length is given which is 1 meter and this is the uh, source battery having EMF 6 volt and you have a 5 ohm resistor connected in series with the potentiometer wire. See here important thing is this potentiometer wire has a resistance which is 10 ohm and also you have a series resistor which is having another 5 ohm resistance. And see the question is you have a primary cell where it balances at a length of 40 centimeter. We want to find the EMF of this primary cell. First of all, we need to find the potential gradient. See many of the students, uh, they do a general mistake uh, by, by simply dividing whatever potential given or whatever EMF given by the length of the potentiometer wire given. But here an important point you have to note, you have a series resistor 5 ohm which is also connected. So what happens is basically this 5 ohm resistance and 10 ohm resistance they are connected in series and students you know very well in series combination voltage gets split. So the 6 volt completely does not go into the potentiometer wire. Some voltage is taken here by this 5 ohm resistor only the remaining voltage or remaining potential will go to the potentiometer wire. So for calculating potential gradient you have to consider only the potential across this potentiometer wire. So first we find the total resistance of the combination. So which is 5 plus 10 is equal to 15 ohm. And using the total resistance and I am calculating the current. And I know very well for a series combination current remains same. So I is equal to V by RS. I know V is 6 volt or 6 by 15. So which gives me 0.4 ampere. See I found the current that passes through this potentiometer wire is 0.4 ampere and using this current uh, I know I can find the potential across the potentiometer wire V is equal to I into R using the formula. To calculate potential difference across the potentiometer wire so V potentiometer is equal to I into I have to take the resistance across the potentiometer wire which is 10 ohm. So I into I is 0.4, so 0.4 into 10 which gives me 4 volt. So this is an important thing. To calculate potential gradient, we have to consider this 4 volt only. So as I told you the common mistake done by the students, so they will take 6 volt. See here, this 5 ohm resistor is taking 2 volt. Only remaining 4 volt is going across this potentiometer wire. So to calculate potential gradient, I have to use only this 4 volt. See the formula for potential gradient K is equal to potential difference across the potentiometer wire. So V potentiometer divided by the length of the potentiometer wire. So is 4 volt. So 4 by the length of the potentiometer wire is 100. I am taking things in centimeter. So 4 by 100 which gives me so 0 0.04 volt per centimeter is the potential gradient. Once finding the potential gradient now it is very easy. Now the primary cell is exactly balancing at 40 centimeter. So we can write so E is equal to K into L. So potential gradient is 0 0.04 and it is balancing at 40. So if you just multiply you get 1.6 volt. So 1.6 volt is nothing but the EMF of this cell. 
see students it's a very easy problem only only thing what you have to notice here is so you should not take this 6 volt so whatever potential will be taken by this 5 ohm no that you have to subtract only the remaining portion will come to the potentiometer wire so that's an important thing you have to notice here and one more thing usually you have to remember and you should know uh, this primary cell emf of the primary cell always has to be lesser than that of the the source battery then only you can you can get the balancing point otherwise you will not get balancing point so potentiometer problems are basically easy problems so i wish you all the very best thank you